Audacity is a free, easy to use platform for multi-track audio recording and editing. In this first video, you'll see how to import an audio file and how to record your voice. And we'll then look at some basic editing. So let's get started. How to import an audio file. This might be a piece of music, a vocal track or a sound effect that you want to work on. So the way I do this is to click on my file where all my computer folders are kept. Click on downloads or wherever you've saved your audio file that you want to use. And I'm going to look for, uh, that's the one, a sound effect called a cold wind sound effect. And all you do to, to get it into Audacity is just to click and drag and drop. And there you go, it opens it up. Now, because this is um, a sound effect that's really quite quiet, you'll see the, the peaks and troughs here are not very big, the sound waves or whatever you want to call them. They're not very big, they're quite small, but I'll show, I'll show you how to change that. So here's how this one sounds. So it's just a nice wintry, frosty sounding sound effect. If I want to make that a little bit louder, what I can do is two different ways. I can amplify it using the amplify effect, which is in the effect menu, or I can slide the gain slider here. I can just increase it and you'll see it's got a gain and a decibel at the end there. So I can increase or decrease if I want it quieter. So if I want this a bit louder, if I start playing it again, if I grab the gain slider and slide it up, you can see that gets louder. If I want to use the Amplify, you'll see that this has an effect on the actual waves. I double click to select the track. Go to the Effects menu, click on it to open it all up. Click on Amplify. And then where it says Amplification in Decibels, I don't want to uh, amplify it too much. I'll just do, say, five decibels louder. So you'll see that's got a little bit bigger. So now if I listen, that's a bit louder than it was before. Click somewhere else to deselect and that will stay as I've set it. And now how to record your voice. So if I want to add my voice to this sound effect here, the first thing to do is to add another track. So on the toolbar at the top here, click tracks, add new, mono or stereo label or time track. I'll click on stereo track for now and it adds a brand new track down here. So to record my voice, first you need to select the, the kind of recording device you want on this toolbar here. So there's a picture of a microphone. So if I click the arrow, these are all my choices. So this, the USB audio device is what I've got my keyboard linked up to. There's the built two built-in microphones, but then this one is a separate microphone, the Honor mic that I use for recording vocals. So I'm going to click on that one so that I know I've got my external mic connected. And then to record my voice, I'm just going to go down to the track, just click on it to get the line there, click skip to the start, and then click on the red record button to start recording. It was a cold and frosty morning as I started my walk in the woods. So this has now recorded my voice. So if I go back to the beginning and play. 
It was a cold and frosty morning as I started my walk in the woods. And if I want to hear it with that wind, cold wind sound effect, I'll click on the mute button to bring this back into play. Click play again. It was a cold and frosty morning as I started my walk in the woods. It's handy when you've got uh, multiple tracks. Um, at the minute there's only two, but when, if you if you have lots of tracks, it's it's good to name them. So on this first track, it's already got the name of the track there. If I click on name, it tells me that that's the cold wind sound effect. So that's OK. I'll keep that. On the second one, it just says audio track at the minute. So I'll change that to voice. So that I can keep a note of what which track is which and what I'm what I want to work on. So now a little bit of uh, basic editing. On this voice track, you can hear that I'm taking a big breath in before I start to speak, which I don't really want to keep in. Again, if I click solo, you will just hear this track. So listen to this. It was a cold and frosty morning. So that's quite a big breath that I don't want in there. Now I could just highlight the breath and then click on Generate Silence. Or I can use Noise Reduction. It's, it's good to make it, it bigger so that you can see what you're doing. So up here, there's a Zoom In button. So I'll click on the Zoom In button. And that makes things a bit easier to see. Now I can see that breath mark there. So I could just as I said, just generate silence for that. Or I could use noise reduction, which is very handy because there's more than one breath here. There's a few, even though it's just very, very short, there's a few breaths and what have you that I don't really want in. So I'm going to use an effect called noise reduction to get rid of that. So to use noise reduction, I'm going to just highlight a little portion of the noise that I want to get rid of. Go to the effect menu again, go down to noise reduction and do step one, which is get the noise profile. So I click that, can't see anything happening, but what it's done is it's read that and it knows now that that's what I want to get rid of in this track. So I'm going to double click to highlight it, to select it go back to the noise reduction effect and do step two. So I click OK. And you can see there that's disappeared, but also all the other little breaths and things have disappeared. What's that bit there? Let's just listen. As I started my walk in noise the woods. Of walk. That's fine. So you see if you've got um, lots and lots of breaths in a track that you want to get rid of that's the quickest way is to use noise reduction or if it's just a short little piece you can use the generate silence effect there's a little click there i can see so i'm going to highlight there at the end of this track and click the scissors which is cut and i'll just get rid of that okay so let's go back to the beginning again, click mute so that I can hear what's going on. And here it sounds like this. It was a cold and frosty morning as I started my walk in the woods. If I want to make this track, the, uh, the top track here, the sound effect shorter, if this is all I want here, and then I want this to fade out. There's an easy way to do that as well. So I'll just make this smaller using the zoom in, zoom out buttons up here. Make it a little bit smaller so you can see the end of the track. You can see it's 54 seconds long. And I'm going to highlight from the end. So this is to get rid of some of this long track because I don't want all of it. 
to click highlight to about there to about 16 seconds cut and now I've got a little bit of a, a sudden end in there so I want that to just fade out gently I don't want it to just stop with a bit of a bump so I'm going to highlight the last few seconds go up to effect menu and go to fade out click on fade out and you'll see it just gives you a nice little neat and tidy fade out there if you want to undo anything anytime if you've made a mistake like we said at the beginning edit and it'll always come up with the the last thing that you did so i think mm, no, I, I want that in a different place undo that fade out and if i want to alter that again just highlight maybe make it a bit shorter and then redo the fade out like so now if i go back to the beginning using the skip back button and play it was a cold and frosty morning as i started my walk in the woods